Also joining me now is the factional publicity secretary of the Liberal Party, Abayomi Arabambi. Mr. Arabambi, your national chairman has just been arrested a few hours to your party's um, primary election. Um, what do you think is happening here? Thank you very much. Uh, Julius Abure is a restrained national chairman of Labour Party by the, by the FCTI court. And that one is, I mean, it cannot be controverted. And I also want Nigerians to please leave police out of the shenanigans. In December 8th, this same Abure with a group of boys attacked me with pump action gun in the premises of Barcelona Hotel, which I reported to the Inspector of Police. In the court of appeal, we were attacked. Every Nigerian saw it. Then on December 29, you saw the way people, even women, using stone on the head of our national youth leader. For God's sake, they are human beings. I am shocked that an aspirant would tell you democracy is under attack. I didn't know, I didn't mean that uh, action were not taken, project were not taken to prevent them on the 29th. You saw them on video, the youth leader of Bano. You saw them where we have law and order. In Nigeria, you saw them showing video, you are attacking somebody. You did stone to beat his head, and some Nigerians think they are above the law. They were even showing it to us. The video went viral, and that, that was what prompted us to petition, you know, the surgeon of police. So the police are not copying, it's not politically motivated. We don't have any business with any of their parents, you know, sponsoring this. We have been saying it time with a number that Abure, for the police to have confirmed that they find one partial gun, as that, that also confirmed our fear that that account is using it to fund terrorism. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Mr. Rabambi. Are you saying that Mr. Abure's arrest, the one that happened today, is as a result of the petition we wrote against him? Of course. That's why I said police. We, we, are, we will commend his own fight. AIG, we are going to commend the Surgeon of Police, and we are going to commend the CPIO state. This matter has been ongoing for long. Just like I said, 29th of December, Eragbe Aslan was almost lynched to death. You saw them, women, you know, videoing him. You saw blood, you know, from his nose, from his eyes. And somebody will come out in the name of rice man will come on here to defend that that's the act. That, oh, democracy is on trial. It's unfortunate. That this kind of that this happen, incident you are referring to, Mr. Arabambi, if I recollect accurately, happened last year. Why is this arrest happening two days before the primary election in Edo State? The police has their right to do investigation. And once you are, you are, you are, you are available, supposing today it was not police, who we know Abure has a pump action with four hours of life ammunition? Who we know? They would have shot somebody and they would claim, oh, it was a straight bullet from the police. Police, we cannot guide the police. Even John last week, I did address a war press conference where I said the president needs to sit up with this leadership of the Labour Party because we know they are funding terrorism. You don't because you want you lost an election, you want to stabilize Nigeria. And we're exonerating Peter Bio. Let me be very clear. We are right. exonerating uh, Peter Bio because the man has been trying to unify us, but Abura refused. I said, no, you want the world to continue. But look at it today. Common primary of governorship candidate. You are coming with a pop action gun and with four life ammunition. I mean, life ammunition. So do what? All right. That's our do time. Fact in the Publicity Secretary of the Labour Party, Abayo Merabambi, thank you for sharing your thoughts with us on the news. Thank tonight. you very much.